Well, the Sumner Tunnel is opening in just a few days, and tonight we get a look at the repairs that crews have made so far during the shutdown. WBZ's Chris Tanaka joins us in studio now. And Chris, this is going to be a huge relief for people who rely on that tunnel. Uh couldn't say it better, Lisa. Yeah, after weeks of congested traffic, transit officials now ready to show off what they've accomplished during that two-month shutdown of the summer. Governor Healy and other top officials got an up-close look at the repairs today. The governor says the work is finished on time and will help make the tunnel safer for everyone. I learned some things coming through here. You know, it's about the ceiling work, and as a result of this work, you're going to see a safer, more well-lit tunnel. Um, also importantly, in this time when we're seeing all these storms and the effects of climate change, I want Massachusetts leading when it comes to building forward in the most resilient way possible. And so one of the things that the teams did is actually take all the utilities out from under the ground, which they thought was a good idea 100 years ago. It doesn't work today. And so that's why you see the pipes up there. All right, so that's all good news. But remember, there's still going to be weekend closures throughout the fall. And then we're going to do this all again next summer. David? Yeah, I think there are a lot of people who thought this was the end of it. It is not. Chris, thank you so much.